Uh, hi my angels and welcome back to my channel if any of you are new here my name is Koshal and today I'm going to be testing out an Instagram hack and that is a weird and apparently a really good way to contour your nose and that is using a fork so I'm going to crack straight into this video and yeah try out this crazy hack and see if it actually works. Product wise, I am going to cream and then set with a powder. So for the cream contour, I'm gonna use this Iconic London Contour Kit. And then to set those areas in place, I'm gonna use these two Redial or Rodial, I'm not too sure how to say it, but a contour powder and then like a banana powder to help set the places that we've highlighted. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start contouring my nose with this fork. So this is your bog standard fork. So what you wanna do with this fork is you wanna use the middle gap to highlight and the two side gaps to place the contour. And that's gonna help create like really good guides to then blend out. So I'm gonna first of all put this into the center of my nose. I wanna try and make sure it's as straight as possible. And then taking the highlight shade with the cream contour, I'm just gonna put that into the middle line. And now I'm gonna slightly slant the fork so I can get into the side. I'm just gonna add the contour into that. And then the same on the other side. Okay, this is the big reveal. Okay. I see what it's trying to do here. So now all I have to do is blend these lines out. So I'm gonna use this 235 Contour Shader Brush by Zoeva and just start blending these lines away. Now I feel like my lines aren't that straight, but we'll work with what we've got. That is a lot of product there. Okay, well, even though I feel like there's so much product on my nose. I'm just gonna take extra time to blend all these lines out. I'm definitely not used to this much product on my nose, so I'm just gonna try and fix it up a little bit. I'm gonna add a bit of a highlight just underneath where the contour is, just to give it some contrast, because I feel like it's blending too far down the sides of my nose. And I am just gonna use my Beauty Blender to blend that away. I kind of get what this hack is trying to do, but I right now feel like it doesn't work with all nose shapes. But I am gonna set everything in place, so I'm gonna use this banana shade right here, and I'm gonna apply that to the areas that we basically highlighted. So that's the center of my nose, and then slightly on the sides as well. And now taking this contour shade, I'm gonna use that same brush. By the way, this is the Luxie 132 brush. And I'm just gonna apply that to the contour areas. And now to really blend these lines away, I'm taking my Giorgio Armani setting powder and just kind of going over the areas to tone it down just slightly. Because I feel like every time I touch my nose, even with like fingers, it can be with like brushes. My nose just goes red, so. so. Okay, so after I've got the powder on there, I'm quite liking the way it looks. What do you guys think? I really like that, but to add a bit of a shimmer of highlight down the bridge, just to accentuate that a little bit more, I'm gonna take Gilded Honey by Laura Geller, and I'm gonna take that on that same Luxie brush and just bring the slightest amount of product down the center. It doesn't need to be too much because I don't like it to look too shiny. And that, I guess, is my take on this fork nose contour hack. And I don't know, I kind of like it. I kind of don't want to like it because I'm using a fork. But I feel like the guidelines that were made were quite handy. And I feel like someone needs to come out with a like makeup version of this to contour your nose. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm quite liking the effect of it. I don't think my nose has ever looked this snatched. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment below about what you think. I mean, I'm quite liking it, but I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. And if you guys do try this hack out, please tag me at hashtag because I would love to see 
your kind of like take on this because I'm kind of genuinely impressed. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I know it was a bit of a short one, but I really, really, really wanted to try this out on camera. I didn't want to do it off camera because I wanted to give you like my first thoughts and like do it all for the first time with you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I guess that is all from me and I will see you all in my next video.